مش لوحدك اوكي ابريل وات دو وي هاف هير Well, we have a soft dummy, and we're just going to give a couple of basics on uh, what you might do if you had a, an, an injury at home that was uh, what, that you could handle well enough mm -hmm. to get your family member maybe into uh, an emergency room or, or what they call a casualty collection point. In large-scale mm -hmm. disasters, they may have specified areas away from the hospitals where they'll set up... Uh, Uh, some triage areas and so on and so forth. Okay. So in this case, um, my friend Ralph here. <laughs> Hi, Ralph. <laughs> he's got a couple of places where he's bleeding. And so, you know, one of the things you want to do fairly quickly with bleeding injuries is basically take some clean gauze and put pressure on those wounds. Mm -hmm. And then you'll, you'll tape them or wrap them as you need to to hold the pressure on. It's important to realize that you don't, once you've started to put pressure on with a gauze, Um, you're not going to take that gauze away thinking mm. that bleeding has stopped because that will interfere with the clotting and they'll bleed some more. So, so if you want to keep it on. You want to keep it on and if the blood is soaking through just add more layers okay. before you wrap it up or tape it. So okay. that's one way to stabilize bleeding wounds and as I said in one of the other segments uh, don't remove a, you know, a large puncturing object. Hmm because that will provoke more bleeding okay. and affect the blood pressure. Now, in this case, if we could pretend that our friend here has uh, some sort of a, a wrist injury here. Mm -hmm. um, we don't know if it's a sprain. We don't know if it's a blade, uh, break or what, but mm -hmm. we want to stabilize that limb so that it doesn't move unnecessarily, cause pain, cause more damage to the, the nerves and tendons around wherever the problem is. So... It's, it's good to look for something rigid that's available. Mm -hmm. You don't necessarily have to go out and buy splints. A lot of times there are things, ordinary household things that you could mm -hmm. use. I mean, you could even use, um, you know, some sort of a utensil on the wrist area because it's oh, a small okay. area. Mm -hmm. I just happened to grab this when I ran mm -hmm. out the door, one of the child toy items. And, uh, but you're, you, you're going to want to, you know, create as, as uh, immobile of, Uh, situation as mm -hmm. possible, but if you put something that's rough right up next to the skin, it's going to be very uncomfortable. So some of the things you can do is you can look around for ordinary stuff you may have at home, magazines, newspapers, and so on, and actually put at least one layer of things around before you put the rigid thing on. And 